Hi, welcome to this brief video clip on connecting the Mumble voice client to a Mumble server. Until you connect to a server, you can't talk to anybody. In previous clips in this series, we've talked about how to download and install the Mumble client and how to configure the audio. So at this point, I've got my earphones on microphone configured for good performance, but I haven't ever connected to a server yet. I placed a Mumble shortcut on my desktop, which I'm going to activate right now with a left click. Incidentally, this is a Linux desktop. I'm running PC Linux OS version 2016. If you're doing this on Windows, it's going to look a little bit different, but basically it's essentially the same. Let's activate this. Click. On first startup, the Mumble client, well first it complains that there's a new version available, and I will update to this later version as soon as my repository offers it. Um, but notice this frame right here. This is the, the subject of this video clip. Uh, it, it knows we need to connect to a server, and so it goes out on the internet. There's a published database out there showing available Mumble servers uh, to which we could connect. However, I'm going to use my own Mumble server. So, uh, and um, at AskMrWizard.com, we sponsor our own free open source flight simulator called Linux Air Combat, and I have a server that's optimized for those kinds of connections. I'm going to add it in with this button here that says Add New. Right now, that server is, uh, is sponsored at the following address. I'm going to call it uh, bosonet.no-ip.biz, which happens also to be the DNS name or address of that server. I could name it anything I want, but I have to give it a, a real address, and I, I like to keep them the same. This is the usual and well-known uh, TCP and UDP port for every uh, Mumble server. I'm, I'm just going to leave the default, and I'm going to give myself a username on here. I'm going to call myself Bob. You click OK. Whereupon it'll attempt to connect. No, actually, whereupon it lists it on the list, and then I connect the connect or I press on this connect button. Click where it will try to make the connection. Aha! And I just heard it connect. I heard a little ding dong in my speakers. And I can actually hear an echo of my own voice here because near me on one of the computers adjacent is a, another Mumble client that's listening to me. Here then is my connection. Upon connecting, I got a message that says, welcome to this server. It says, connecting to ozenet.no-ip.biz and then connected and welcome. I'm talking now on the root channel. And it's just that easy to uh, define and connect with a Mumble server. Um, incidentally, authentication is usually done with self-signed certificates. That's the way the Mumble community expects you to do this, and that's why I was not asked for a password. It's just that easy. Thank you. Incidentally, if you have trouble authenticating with a Mumble server, you probably will need to just run their certificate wizard to create a self-signed certificate. This is done easily from their uh, configuration menu with a left click and then select the certificate wizard which will lead you step by step through the simple process. I had already done that so this computer already has its own self-signed certificate and it was not necessary for me to do it again. But should this be your first experience with generating a self-signed certificate, the Mumble Wizard is a good way to do that. And this is the way most Mumble servers expect you to authenticate yourself. And that's the reason why you don't generally have to enter a password when you go to a Mumble server. It uses this modern authentication system. Thanks. In our next video clip in this series, we'll take a tour of our own uh, Mumble server. Uh, AskMrWizard.com sponsors a Mumble server at bosonet.no-ip.biz right now that is focused on supporting discussions of flight simulation, especially combat flight simulation with Linux Air Combat, our own free open source flight simulator, or YS Flight, which is also another well-known flight simulator. So stay tuned. Let's continue on. We'll show you how to use our Mumble server so that you can um, talk to other players of Linux Air Combat on these various channels and realms as uh, we visit with one another. It's a lot of fun. Thanks. 
Linux Air Combat is a product of AskMrWizard.com, and we're very glad that you're interested in it. AskMrWizard.com is an advertising-supported website, and the modest revenue we receive from the advertisements help to fund our development work. You can always learn about Linux Air Combat by going to AskMrWizard.com and clicking on the Gaming and then Flight Simulation links, and that will take you to our Flight Simulation section, and prominent in that section, you'll see a link to Linux Air Combat. This is the main page you want. As you explore there, you will see advertising. We put a small number of ads, and we don't have complicated scripting or anything, on our website. And would you please help us to, uh, to get our, advertisements, our advertisers to understand what it is that you want? If you see an ad that you're not interested in, please do not click on it. On the other hand, if you see an ad that is interesting to you, our audience, uh, please consider giving that advertiser a fair share of your honest attention. They're helping us. You can help us. Let's help them. That way, everybody wins. Thank you.